When wind blows across the ocean, it produces waves and currents. In larger scale, it is the ocean circulation. In this experiment, we are going to study how wind drives ocean circulation. You are going to see the Ekman layers in the ocean. Due to Coriolis force, the wind direction and the water current direction are not the same. Our setup demonstrates the mechanism in the northern hemisphere. First, place the circular insert in the water tank. Fill the tank with water to a certain depth so that it is easier to study the vertical flow. Prepare two fans. Make sure they have the same output. If not, Adjust it with the knob. Set up the fans at opposite sides of the tank. They should blow wind of opposite directions. I'm doing the cyclonic flow first. Be careful with the wires. The fans should blow just above the water surface. Set the tank into rotation, a speed of about 10 revolutions per minute. Turn on the fans. Wait until the circulation has developed. This may take a few minutes. Here, the fans are set to produce cyclonic stress. Wind blows the same direction as the rotation of the tank. Sprinkle some potassium permanganate crystals at the center. These purple crystals sink and track the bottom flow. Paper dots float and track the surface flow. Under cyclonic wind, paper dots move away from the center. The surface flow diverges from the center. Potassium permanganate crystals did not spread out. The bottom flow converges to the center. Now look from the side. The circulation is clearly demonstrated. At the center, the flow is going up. It is called upwelling. We now change the direction of the wind from cyclonic to anticyclonic. Reverse the blowing direction of the fans.
Anticyclonic applied stress means the wind direction is opposite to the rotating direction of the tank. Repeat the procedures as done in the first half of the video. Again, observe the bottom flow and the surface flow. This time, the surface flow is converging. From the side, we can see that the bottom flow is diverging. The flow is going down at the center. It is called downwelling. Here's the summary. Compare the two situations. The direction of the surface flow and the bottom flow are not the same as the wind direction. This is due to the frictional force and Coriolis force. In the northern hemisphere, when wind blows across the surface at a certain direction, the surface layer of the ocean flows at an angle of about 45 degrees to the right. The next layer makes an angle with the layer above and has a weaker flow, so on and so forth. The net mass transport of all the layers results in 90 degrees clockwise from the wind direction. It is also called Ekman transport. Upwelling and downwelling are related to the ocean current which have big impacts on our climate and also lives in the sea. Upwelling brings deeper, colder and nutrient-rich water to the surface. It boosts biological productivity at these surface waters. Good fishing grounds typically are found where upwelling is common. Here's a question. In very large scale, how would the easterly surface trade wind cause net transport of water?